Good evening, everybody out there. How's it going? It's eight o'clock sharp. The bell has rung. Bing bong. We are ready to start the webinar. And thank you so much, everybody, for being here on time, waiting, anticipating this webinar, which I guarantee you, you're going to love. My name is Vincent Kelly. I've been helping people with the area of self-improvement for over, I don't know, 25 years, many years, many, many years. And uh, my purpose here is to just give you some tools that you can use in order to improve your communication skills. And at the end of the webinar, I'm going to give you a recommendation on what you want to do next if you want to take it any further. So before I begin, I'll say hello to everybody who's on Facebook. Hello there. Instagram and YouTube and everybody on those platforms, you can participate in this webinar because it's not just all about me, you know. It's not all about me and what I want to say. Uh, you can participate. Any questions or comments or examples that you want to give, you just put them in the comments below the video and I've got somebody keeping an eye on that and she'll send them over to me and I'll be able to see them on Zoom. So I have everybody from Zoom. I want to say hello to you personally because it's the screen that I have open beside me and um, this is where I get all my information from. This is where people ask me questions and like I can't have three or four different screens open at the same time with all these different, it's, just, it's nice to just have one little platform. So I just want to say hello to uh, Francis, good evening Francis, uh, Cahill, Alexandra and Margaret and we've got Sylvia who's the host there as well. So folks, nice, nice crowd, let's get into it. Before we begin on this webinar about communication, I would sincerely like to find out where are you logging in from? This is my basic question. If you don't mind popping it into the chat, where are you logging in from? Are you in Ireland? Where in Ireland? Are you in America? What state? Are you in Pakistan? Mongolia? Are you in Italy? UK? You know, are you in Iceland? Where are you? Where are you? I need to know. Okay, excellent. Francis from Limerick. Hi, Francis. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, Cahill, Dublin. Thank you, Cahill. Good to see you here. Uh, Carol. Hi, Carol. Didn't say hello to you previously, but nice to have you from Dublin. Very, very good. Anybody else want to pop in to the chat? Where are you logging in from? I just, I just like to see because the answers I get here determine the sense of humor I use or don't use. Sometimes I'll crack a joke, which I think is hilarious, but it's terrible because it's just not understood. Anyway, good. I'll, I'll, I'll keep them kind of nice and, uh, I don't know, launch straight into this. And uh, we will start with the basics of communication. And by the way, if you could stay until the end, that would be great. It would be about probably 40, 45 minutes. And I have a special thing I want to show you at the very end, which is going to be your launch pad for more success in this area. Okay, so to give you a little bit of background on myself, this particular webinar is probably my favorite to deliver. I have two favorites. One is about the mind. And the second one is communication. I absolutely love delivering this webinar because the basics that I've learned have tremendously helped me in communication and they 100% will help you. Now, what I'm going over here tonight are some basics about communication, some things that you need to consider. But let's be honest, a half an hour or 45 minutes is not going to handle everything, okay? This particular webinar is, uh, I'm actually gonna promote this at the end, it's, called, it's a course, Success Through Communication course. Like, each of the points that I'm gonna go over are things that you can practice at home and need to be practiced. It's not just Vincent waving a magic wand and go, bing, 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 Ir Irina, Colvinder, Shani, Carl, uh, Margaret, Alexandra, Cahill, Francis, 
Bing, magic wand, you're all great communicators now, that's all we need to do. There is a bit of work involved, but thankfully, once you know the correct place to start and the correct things to practice, you will be absolutely flying it. Okay? So, this webinar tonight is primarily based on this booklet called Communication by this author, L. Ron Hubbard, a genius in the fact that he covered many different subjects, many different areas of her life to help people in their lives. I'll be showing you about that a little bit later. Okay, so let's start. Me, myself, years ago, anybody who knew me years ago before I got involved in this, knew me as a very, very quiet individual. Very shy. I was very shy. Uh, you know, I tried to get a girlfriend for years, but it's very difficult to get a girlfriend if you can't communicate. Yeah, 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 excuse me. Would you like to go out with me? It just doesn't, it didn't happen. So I was kind of, I was in trouble in that area. Even in sports, there's certain sports I really wanted to get into, but I kind of, oh, no, I won't say anything. So I was always very shy. And it did affect me in terms of relationships, my parents, um, school, you know, things I didn't understand but never said anything. Um, relationships with friends, things I wanted to say to them but never said it because I was too shy. So that was my problem. Uh, I want to find out from you, now that you're on the webinar, what is your biggest difficulty in communication? Would you mind letting me know? This is the first, let's just call this the first exercise. What is your biggest problem in communication? Is it just, and like I know, like I don't, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but uh, I would like if you could pop an answer into the chat, it would be great because it just kind of gives me a flavor for, you know, what you'd like to address because I want to make this webinar about you, not me. This is not about Vincent. This is, this is about you. This is to help you, okay? So if you don't mind popping in the chat, what is the problem that you have with communication? Is it quiet, you're too shy? Is it you're too aggressive? Is it that uh, you talk too much, you talk too little, you don't know when to talk, you say the wrong things, you say the right things? What is the biggest problem that you have in communication? If you don't mind popping in the chat, I would be most grateful. And by the way, I want to say hello to the rest of the people who came in. Carl, Mary, Irina, Shani, and Kulvinder. Thank you so much. Okay, um, now I'll just make a note just so I can have a, an idea. Shani, too direct. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Shani. We'll cover this. Kyle, saying offensive things I regret. Okay, again, direct. Okay, too direct anger. Thank you, Kyle. Um, Shani, often don't elaborate enough. Very good. Thank you, Shani. Not elaborate. Excellent. Uh, Mary, too shy, hiding the main truth, so not to be bad in the presence of others. Good. Okay, got that. I had exactly the same, Mary. Exactly the same. You know? What if somebody finds out what I'm really like? You know, who I really am? Uh, Carl, okay. Thank you. Not understood. Okay, beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, thank you, Carl. And then Irina, clearly express yourself. Okay, wonderful. Okay, thank you, Irina. We'll go over this. Okay, so now, uh, that's fantastic, folks. Thank you so much. And... Uh, yeah, I really appreciate your feedback, so I'll cover all these tonight. Okay, now, at the end of this webinar, I'm not going to make you into an expert communicator. That would be a silly thing to say. But I'm going to give you basics that you can start working on, okay? And you can start focusing on, which are going to help all these areas. Uh, for example, being too direct, not elaborate. Um, sorry, Mary has something. Okay, this is shy. Okay, I didn't even write it down. Instead of writing down shy, I wrote down Mary. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, shy, not understood, and getting yourself clearly expressed. Okay. Before I give you this first gold nugget, I want to ask you a question. This is section one. Have you ever met somebody who talks and talks and talks and talks and talks but doesn't listen. Give me a thumbs up or a yes if you have seen that. 
somebody who talks and talks and talks and talks and talks, but then doesn't listen. And you might as well be talking to the wall if you try and say something to them and so forth. Okay, Mary, uh, Arena, yes, and Shani, yes, I switch off when this happens. Right. Okay. Happened to me as well many times. You, you want to say something, but the person is so busy saying things, it drains you. You're like, I don't know, there's something wrong here. And you want to say, okay, I got that, Margaret. I want to say something back, but I'm not getting an opportunity. It's all one way. And you feel like someone's just pouring stuff onto you, like cement. Okay, now let's look at the reverse of this. Do you know anybody who just listens and listens and listens and listens and listens and is quiet, 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 but doesn't say anything? Did, like you're talking, but they don't respond. They don't talk back. You know, they're always just on the receiving end. They never say anything. And by the way, this was me. This was me in my... Yes, Mary. Myself and yourself, yes. <laughs> Got the same thing. This was me. Listening. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Listen, listen. But never say anything. Never tell somebody, okay, you know what I'd like? Oh, I listen to somebody. I talk about cars. They say, oh, they love BMW, and BMW is great, and la, 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 la. And what I would do is I would say, oh, that's great. Yeah, amazing. But I never told them that, you know, I like BMW too. And I like fast cars. I mean, never used to say that. Just listen to their point of view. Okay, Mary, you might be the one. Irina, yes. And yes, I can tell if they understand. Fantastic, Shani. Shani, thank you. So I'm going to read out this little quote to you. This is the gold nugget. Okay, I'm going to put in some of my art. For anybody who's been at my webinars, you know I studied Latin instead of art. I had a choice. Vincent, do you want to do Latin or art? Well, my brother did Latin, so therefore I'm going to do Latin. Okay? So you'll see, basically, in just a moment. Okay, this is about as far as my art goes. Okay? I'm going to draw two people. Because, yes, I mean, minimum, minimum, when you're talking, communicating, there has to be two people. Unless, of course, you're talking to yourself. But when we're talking about communication, we're talking about a minimum of two people. Uh, don't I have enough knowledge of the topic to talk about? It? Yes, got that, Carl. And I had the same thing. I don't know enough about this, and, and, and so I won't say anything. Right? But bear with me. You're going to get this. Here we go. He who would... Okay, there is a basic rule here. He who would outflow... He who would outflow... He who would outflow, outflow. Outflow means to flow out. In other words, to send out a communication. He who would outflow must inflow. He who would outflow must inflow. Okay. Must inflow. Now, opposite. He who would inflow... So now we've got, so this, this is person A, this is person B. So he who would inflow, the person who is inflowing communication, in other words, they're receiving, 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 listening, 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 okay, must outflow. Must outflow. Okay? When we find this rule overbalanced, in either direction, we discover difficulty. There has to be a balance of outflow and inflow. An example of this is, uh, I'm also trained in something called auditing. Auditing means to listen and to guide, helping people with past um, bad experiences, okay? So I would be listening a lot in my job. Listen. Listen, listen. And when I go home, and, you know, my wife is there and opens the door, I'm like, hey, da -da 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 -da. you know, I feel much better when I can communicate as well to somebody else. You know? So you have to have the balance of outflow and inflow. A person who is only outflowing communication is not, commu 
is not communicating at all in the fullest sense of the word. So if you have a friend that you think is fantastic at communication because they talk and talk and talk and they can talk the hind legs off an elephant, talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, outflow, 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 but they never inflow, it's not communicating. For in order to communicate entirely, one would have to inflow as well as outflow. To communicate entirely, one has to inflow as well as outflow. This is why in my webinars, I really do love it when people give me examples, ask me questions and you know, provide feedback. And this is why I ask you these things because I need the inflow as well. There has to be a balance of inflow and outflow. And as a lecturer, it helps me to get that going. Sometimes when I'm doing a lecture, I'm talking and talking and talking, but all I hear is crickets. I, I don't know, it, it, it feels overbalanced. And then I think, I'm doing something wrong here. It's not getting through. Okay. Now, next bit. A person who is inflowing communication entirely is, again, out of order. For if he would inflow, he must then outflow. Any and all objections anyone has to social and human relationships are to be found basically in this rule of communication. If a person is outflowing, but he doesn't get any responses, he's not going to feel good. Similarly, if a person is inflowing, but isn't getting an opportunity to communicate, he's not going to feel good. And this is why you feel bad around certain people, mainly. Because you're talking to them, and they're listening, and that's fine, but they never say anything. Or you're listening to them, and you're listening, but you never get an opportunity to respond or say what you think. And if you do, they're not listening. So this is the primary reason for problems in communication with people. And this should tell you why it is you need to improve your communication skill, which is something I'm going to go over with you now. So, if you're outflowing, you must also balance with inflow. So if you're talking to somebody, make sure they get what you're saying, but at a certain point, be quiet and allow them to communicate back and listen to what they have to say and acknowledge them for saying it. Say, okay, thank you. Similarly, if you're listening and so forth, at a certain point you're going to have to put the brakes on, you're going to also have to communicate as well. It's a two-way street, a balance, okay? It has to be balanced. Okay, now, I have outflowed a lot in the last couple of minutes. What does that mean? This is your first test now to see how you're going. What does it mean? I have outflowed a lot in the last couple of minutes to you. I'll take the first answer. I have just outflowed a lot in the last two minutes. What does that mean? Thank you. Francis, Margaret, Yes, Mary, you have received more information. You have. Yes. Now I have to listen. I want inflow, and I've just got it, you see? Did you see how, how my face, facial expression changed? Exactly. I mean, you see, this is it. I love you guys. I love you guys. Yeah, just, yeah. Do you know what? Let's do a little experiment. Here, do you know what? Put down in the chat something that you want to tell me. I've just told you something that I want to tell you. Now just tell me something that you want to tell me. Go ahead. Free for all. It's a free for all on the chat. Go. Free for all. Just put down in the chat something that you'd like to tell me. <laughs> okay. 
Irina, I love it. I love it. But your mics are muted by me. Okay, okay. <laughs> you make a very good point. You make a very good point. Well, the reason that we turn off the things is because when people, everybody starts talking on one of these meetings, it just goes a bit crazy. So I try to keep all the communication in writing. People start talking over each other and it just goes a bit bananas, you know. Francis, nice shirt. Well, thank you. Where did I get this? In pennies? I'm not sure. Somewhere important, anyway. Okay, folks, thank you. Feel free, during this webinar, to just put in a random comment. I'd love to get it, okay? So, feel free. Anything that you want to say. Vincent, I walked the dog today. Beautiful. Vincent, I'm having, while I'm watching you, while I'm watching your webinar, right, I am also I've got one eye on a movie because I'm not sure if I'm going to stay or not. <laughs> okay, so that's the first point. Make sure that your communication is balanced. That if you're the type of person who only listens, at a certain point you're going to have to go, that's enough now, I'm going to say something. And similarly, if you are talking to somebody continuously, at a certain point you go, okay, that's enough now, I'm going to stop and I'm going to invite inflow. Okay? Outflow, inflow, outflow, inflow. Let's see. Mary, I love the introduction of your lecture, but I would like to ask, how do we communicate effectively? Boom! Mary, you asked the exact correct question because this is coming next. Carl, you like my hand gestures? Yes, I'm the type of person that communicates with my hands. You've noticed. I have no special technique in communicating with my hands. They just take off in life of their own, you know? Okay, very good. So let's go straight on to Mary. Mary, you sound like the type of person who likes to get into business. And then let's just get straight into it. How do we communicate effectively? I sort of anxiety attacks prior to communication. Thank you, Alexandra. Many people don't communicate because they get so nervous. They start worrying and goes, yeah, and thinking about it, right? I'm going to go over some basic rules here. That particular point is a fundamental thing to handle before you even start communicating, but it can be drilled, and there are exercises which I'll teach. Uh, uh, I'm going to refer you to them at the end here because, look, we're just on a webinar now. It's just kind of like an introduction, um, but there are... Things that you can do to handle that so that you can start. Very good. Okay, thank you. And look, there you go. You're all my friends now, you see. All my friends. You're all communicating to me. The next thing we're going to go over is the formula. How do you communicate effectively? There is a communication formula. Okay, this that I'm going to give you is gold nugget number two. Gold nugget number two. Now, it may seem simple when I'm reading this out, okay? But each individual part of what I'm about to tell you is vital in a communication. And you can work on these and practice these yourself at home with a friend or family member. And I'm going to show you at the end how to start off with this, okay? So, uh, let's just show you my art again. Okay. Anybody want to uh, outflow a name for these two people? If you do want to, just give them a name. If you like a name, you, the first two names I get, I'm going to put them on these people. I don't know. If you want to call them Flamingo and uh, whatever. <laughs> and we've got, a, we've got somebody in there. I'll hang on a second now. <laughs> okay, I've got to take the two first ones. So Shani said Herbert. Okay, so this is Herbert. Okay, Herb, Herbie, Herbert, Herbert. And Mary, I can only take one of these. Which would you prefer? You want Tommy, Tony, or Timmy? Go. Tony, okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you. Formula of communication. 
we look at the basics first. For every, for, for every communication, there has to be... We're going to put this down to rock-bottom basics. Source point. So the person giving the communication is the source point. Okay? Now, we can also call this the cause. Person who causes the communication. For every communication, there has to be a distance. It may be you're talking to somebody on the couch, and so there's a distance of less than a foot. Or across a coffee table, or across a room, or across a country, or out to outer space, there's always a distance. There's a distance factor. There's you, and you're sending out a communication across a distance. There has to be a distance. Of course, if you're talking to yourself, I, I don't know how that works, but we're, we're talking about actually communicating with other people at this point, okay? Distance. And this person on the other end is the receipt point. The person who is receiving it. And then once that finishes, then this the roles can reverse, okay? Receipt point, you can also call, call this effect. Okay? So cause, distance, effect. The person who's given the communication across a, dif a distance and the person who's receiving the communication here. Cause, distance, effect, or source point, distance, receipt point. Very simple. Okay, you know all that. Perfect. Now let's get into some of the other vital basics of a communication performance. So these are, uh, I'm just going to name these out, okay? So we've got... One, cause, distance, receipt point. Okay, marker. And so the next thing. This is absolutely vital. You know what, I'm going to get rid of this because it's going to take up too much of my space and I have a lot of art to show you. Okay, so we have distance. The first key ingredient when you're delivering a communication is intention. Now what does that mean, Vincent? What it means is that when you are delivering a communication, you have to have the intention, okay, this is the intention, I want Tony to understand this. Okay? This. Whatever you want to say. That has to be the intention. If you don't care whether somebody understands you, if you don't care whether somebody understands you, you're missing the intention. And it's not communication. This is why, when I'm delivering a lecture, I like to find out, are people tracking? Because I want to make sure that I'm communicating properly to you. So I want to make sure that my intention is in. If I didn't care, let's say uh, I just couldn't be bothered. I'm just here to do a lecture. I don't care. I'm, I'm, uh, somebody's paying me 50,000 euros to do a lecture. And I don't care if anybody understands it or not, I'm just clocking in. If that was the case, the information just wouldn't land. If that was the only intention to make money. The intention has to be that you want Tony to understand that. You want to get your message across. Okay? So that's the intention. Now I wrote down something inspirational and I hope I actually took a note of it. Yeah. For example, uh, if I wanted to have you, let me just see uh, where everybody, oh, by the way, 
at the beginning for anybody who joined late and hello Anjum for joining uh, I'd love to find out where you're logging in from I would love to actually see for any of the new people who came in who missed my question at the start I'd love to find out where you're logging in from and I can use that in my examples okay so that's first absolutely vital so before you start your communication you have to go right do I want to communicate this to the person if you don't want to say it if you don't want to communicate then and but you're communicating but you don't want to there's a problem you're communicating but you don't want to do it the fact is you have a right to give or receive communication or not you have a right but you have to want do I want to communicate with this person right now or do I not want so that intention has to be in for example have you ever Anjum from Leicester great thank you Anjum great to have you have you ever um, been talking talking to somebody and you knew this person doesn't want to talk to me they don't want to talk to me they're saying things but they don't want to talk to me has anybody ever heard that or had that experience you know what this person is talking to me but they don't really want to talk to me I know it they just don't and you can sense it okay Mary thank you anybody else had that where somebody's talking to you but you know they don't want to talk to you okay Shani thank you Irina thank you you can sense it these ingredients of this communication formula are things that you can naturally sense so when you're talking to somebody you, it has to be honest it has to be you going you know what I want to say hello to my wife right now like sometimes when I come home from work or whatever I might be tired my wife would go hey Vinny how's it going I'm like oh I don't want to talk to anybody right now but then I look at it and go you know what I want I want my wife to be happy and I want she's so enthusiastic and I do want to actually not knock that down so I will go you know what I'll decide to myself you know I actually do want to talk to her I do want this communication I don't want to ignore her I want to talk so but but that's a decision that I make you know if you're being forced to communicate this is missing your intention you, you don't really want to do it so when you are starting a communication you have to want and if you don't want to give that communication across guess who's going to know they might not say it but they're going to sense something's wrong I've had lectures in the past where I'm like I was so tired I just oh, I was having busy all day and trying to do a lecture as well I didn't prepare and it just didn't come across well so I've had that myself okay next ingredient so that's really vital the intention the next one is uh, let me just put this here attention You have to want, but there all, you also have to have the attention. Now, what does that mean? Attention basically means how awake you are. Are you there? Is there anybody home? So, if you're trying to talk to somebody, but your mind is somewhere else, it's off in 400 different places, and you're like talking away to somebody, but you're half asleep when you're saying the man and the you're not even there you're thinking about being in bed like for example if uh, somebody calls you in the morning and you're half asleep in the bed and you're trying to talk you're not fully there so your communication is going to come out terrible you might be just blubbering blah, 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 blah. you say something that you shouldn't have said and you know it comes across terrible so when you're communicating with somebody when you're giving somebody a communication you have to be awake alert there not thinking about other different things 
just your attention there with the person. Give them your attention. So when you're talking to them, give them your attention. Stop other things. You know, if you're trying to talk to your husband, but your kid is like, hey, I want the bowl of cornflakes, I want the bowl of cornflakes. Okay, well look, give the kid your attention. What do you want? Bowl of cornflakes. Okay, there's your bowl of cornflakes. Good. Now you can go over and say to your husband, hey, how's it going? How's your day? All right, so your attention is very valuable and you've got loads of it to give. Many people can have their attention on lots of different things at the same time and that's fine, whatever you can do. The point is that you have to have, when you're giving a communication to somebody, you have to be there, awake, alert and with them, in the, at least in the same room and not mind wandering off onto other things. Now, that is something you can practice. And there's a booklet at the end which I'm gonna recommend, some drills that show you how to do that and how you can improve your ability to just be there and not have your mind all wandering off. Because if your mind is all wandering off onto other things, it's going to show. For example, have you ever, um, somebody talking to you and you know that they're not really paying attention to what they're saying, they're not really, they're not really there, they're angry or they're, I don't know, they're, they're just not even there. Okay, let me, uh, what if you don't have the answer or opinion to share? What do you do? Great little line for that, Mary. To communicate this is from the same author, beautiful line. To communicate or not to communicate, that is the question. And the answer is to communicate. If you don't have the answer to the question, you can just simply be honest and say, hey, I don't have the answer to that question. And if you're looking for something to talk about, you can just, I don't know, find something that you're both interested in and, and just communicate about that. Like, how was your day? Nice day today. There's all sorts of ways to start up a conversation. You see the person is walking their dog. Oh, what kind of a dog do you have? But don't fake it. Be, you know, be honest about your communication as well. So when you're saying something, just be honest about it. And if you don't have an opinion to share, again, Mary, uh, when you're not sharing your opinion, it comes down to your confidence in yourself in relation to communication. If you are a good communicator and you know the basics and you've drilled and you've practiced the basics and you're good at it, you are more likely to express your opinion. Whereas if you're worried, is this communication going to come across? Am I making a mess of it? What will the other person think? You're not going to be as, you know, forthcoming with communication. Okay, uh, thank you for that great question. Now, I'm gonna stop because I have another little chunk to go. Any questions so far on what I've gone over? You're welcome, Mary. Anybody else? As I've said, I have outflowed a lot. Now I'm going to inflow some water. Okay, Shani. Thank you. You see, there you go. Um, <laughs> hang on. I'm going to inflow some water and then I'm going to respond to your comment. And anybody else wants to comment, please. I don't care. Tell me you like trees or I don't know. Uh, at the moment, you're jumping on a trampoline or I don't know. You, I don't know. You like the smell of apple tart. That was a nice inflow. The thing is that I tend to drink more water when I'm waiting for inflow. Isn't that interesting? But I do get thirsty as well. Okay, Shani, I love it. You said no questions. Good. It's an answer. It's actually, it's, it's something that you said. Perfect. You don't have to come up, uh, you know, uh, find the secret of the universe to work out what to say next. It could be just a simple thing of just responding and saying what you think. Perfect. Thank you, Shani. Alexandra. 
What if you don't want to communicate at all? Very good question. As I mentioned, you have a choice. You can decide, I want to communicate to this person, or I don't want to communicate to this person. That is your right. I want to communicate with Joe, I don't want to communicate with Peter. What are we going to do? Force you to communicate with Peter? Oh, you have to communicate with him. Come on, do it now. Hurry up. Say this, that, and the other. Here's a list. Usually, if a person gets to a point where they don't want to communicate at all to anybody, it often means that their previous communications, they've had very bad experiences on communication. And this can happen with family members. Mothers cutting their communication. The dad never listened to them. But it mainly boils down to not having the basic skills drilled. And once you do, Alexandra, you will start to want to say things that are important to you. Because, you know, life is not all about cats and dogs. It's not all about, you know, all I want to do in my future is I want to have a cat. And me and the cat are going to live together and that's going to be life. That's not what life is about. Now, I have two cats. I love cats. I'm an, I, I love animals, basically. I love animals. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, there are certain animals that I, yeah, I don't know, I have to get, I don't know, I have to build up a relationship with them. But, uh, you know, I do like animals. But life is not all about animals. It's about people. For example, you could decide tomorrow, you know what? To hell with everybody. I'm just going to buy a piece of land I'm going to raise chickens, right? a couple of cows, I'm going to get the milk from the cows, and I'm just going to live an isolated life out in the middle of Alaska. And that's going to be my life. And no, I'm not going to get a phone. I, I don't care. And I'm, going to, I'm going to forget how to write letters. I'm not going to have the internet. Damn everybody. However, if you find someday that you've run out of chicken feed for your chickens, you might have to find a town to buy some chicken feed. And usually, chicken feed is being sold by a chicken feed seller, which is an actual person. So eventually, you're going to have to communicate to somebody. Life is lived with people. We're all in this game together. Hooray, Vincent. Inspirational. Anyway, Alexandra, the main thing is... Usually when I hear that question, it means that people have had failures in communication in the past and have decided, what's the point? But you, if you practice it, you know, you will be able to do it. For example, this is something that you just said on the webinar right now, and thank you. You actually said it, so you did communicate. You wanted to ask me something, and you did it, okay? Because you wanted to, but as I mentioned, you always have the right, whether you want to communicate or not. Okay, let's move on. And by the way, this intention and attention is, it works on both sides. Okay? It works both sides. Tony, who's, who's Tony now? Who's Tony's? Mary's Tony. Mary's Tony has to have at least some wanting to listen to Shani's Herbert. There has to be at least some intention that Tony is going to listen to, to Herbert. And also, Tony has to be at least a little bit awake. Has to be a little bit awake. The more awake, the better. And Herbert will have to check, is Tony awake? And is he ready? to receive the communication. Quite often, people will just pound you with a communication and you're not ready. For example, you're on your phone, you're doing a text, and somebody comes in and says to you, do you want a cup of tea? And you're like, oh, I'm trying to handle something important here, leave me alone. You know? So, when you are delivering a communication, make sure that the person is ready 
to receive your communication because you need their attention. And you can get their attention. For example, when we promote webinars, okay, we do this nice picture of, a, for example, this particular webinar was a guy with a nice hairstyle on the phone, you know, his shirt open, you know. It gets attention. It got your attention. Like, we got your attention by showing a piece of promotion, and now you're here. If we didn't get your attention, there's no way, that there'd be no communication. And you wouldn't find out about my beautiful red shirt and my wonderful artistic talent. The point is, you need to get the attention first, and then the communication can go across. Okay? So that's Tony. Now, the final thing on this diagram here um, is, the, is the following. So let's, let's just count these up. So we have cause, we have distance, we have effect. Okay, and then number four, we have intention with intention and attention. Okay, and the last one here, just my green marker, Let me stick this in green. And Alexandra, Alexandra, I hope that helped you with that question. And if you have a further question, let me know. And at the end of this webinar, I might stay around for a few minutes to do any questions and answers. If anybody has any questions, we'll do them at the end. Okay, the last ingredient is duplicate. Oh, crikey, where am I going to fit this? One second. <clears throat> Hold, don't go anywhere. Okay, duplication. Okay, and understanding. I'm going to explain these two, two words. Okay, this is going to be, okay, I'm going to do something crazy now. I, I make a word that slants down the page. You're all going like this now. Okay, duplication and understanding. Duplication comes from duplicate, and to duplicate means to make a copy of, to make a copy of something. Okay, duplication is to make a copy. So, for example, if Herbert says uh, in his communication, he says to Tony, Ni hao. Okay, I, I probably spelled this wrong. And Tony has duplicated Ni hao. Okay, in other words, he has now copied exactly what Herbert said. So Tony has duplicated what Herbert said. Herbert said, ni ha, and Tony duplicated what he said. However, he didn't understand it. Okay? He didn't understand it. So, when you are delivering a communication, you have to make sure that you are communicating in such a way that the person can not only duplicate what you say or make a copy of it in their head, oh yeah, yeah, I know what he's saying, but also understand it. Now, before you all go asleep on me, ni hao is basically Chinese for hello. Okay? I probably spelled it wrong. Ni hao just means hello in Chinese. So if Herbert had said to Tony, if he'd said this, Ni hao, which basically means hello in Chinese, Tony would go, ah, I understand. And he'd go, oh, Ni hao, back to you. So when you are communicating, you need to make sure that, you know, and that the intention is there you want the person to actually understand. If you don't care whether the person duplicates you or understands you, it is not communication. I've done it so many times myself. I've been so excited about, oh yeah, you should do this and that and the other. And I, I, just, I just wanted to tell a person my point of view, but I didn't really stop to ask myself, does this person actually understand what I'm saying. Do they really, do they really get it? Okay? Now, and this is a question for you, my wonderful audience. How do you know, how, and you're gonna, I'm gonna ask, you can put down any answer that you want. How is Herbert going to know if Tony actually duplicated and understood? How is he going to know
Herbert has just said something to Tony. How is he going to know if Tony actually duplicated it, which means made a copy, and understood it? How is he going to know? And June, yes, by his expression, yes, that would be good. Be like, oh yeah, now sometimes people make expressions, but they haven't a clue what you're saying. They go, oh, 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 oh. So sometimes an expression might not communicate it, but you are right, an expression can communicate understanding. You go, ah, yes. Okay, uh, what else? Mary, from his reaction or exclamation. Yeah, exactly. How does this guy respond? Very good. Irina, feedback. Yeah. Tony says, oh, okay. All right, let's, let's change this communication for a second so we can drive, uh, show you this example. Um, let's say the communication was, I ate an apple. Okay. I ate an apple. And, uh, okay, so we have Tony here. Uh, my artistic ability, there's an apple, okay, and he's eating it, and he's very happy with the apple. Apple. Okay, that's an apple. So he's duplicated. I ate an apple. All right? So, uh, feedback, yes. Tony goes, ah. Oh, I hope it was a nice apple. Then you know that the person got the communication. Whereas if Tony said, <laughs> you don't know if Tony got the communication. So what's going to happen? It's going to stick in your head as a mystery. It's going to stick in your head as an incomplete communication. So what you have to do when you communicate somebody is check to make sure that they understand it. They understood it and make it clear enough that they do understand what you're saying check it and you can always ask them if Herbert says to Tony I ate an apple and he says it really fast I ate an apple and Tony goes oh, yeah. Yeah. but then Herbert doesn't know if Tony got the message well he could repeat it or he could say Tony did you actually understand what I said there and Tony goes, actually, I had no clue what you said. You said it too fast. You said it way too fast. Okay? And so feedback, Margaret, expression and body language. Exactly. So expression would be acknowledgement and body language. Yes, exactly. Perfect. So there would be something that you're going to look to see. Did Tony understand it? Okay. Now, um, well, where am I going to fit the rest of this beautiful, these beautiful words? Okay, I'm going to put in one last little ingredient here. So what have we got so far? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Cause, distance, effect, with uh, intention, attention, and duplication. We'll put this as one, right? So this is number six. Duplication and understanding. Now, if you are receiving a communication and you don't understand what the person is saying, don't just fake the acknowledgement. You know, clarify it. You know, Tony has at least got to at least want to understand something. So if you're listening to somebody and you don't understand, clarify it. Because if you don't, it's going to result in an incomplete communication for him and an incomplete communication for you. He's going to sense it, you're going to know it. So if you don't understand it, clarify it. And if you do understand it, put in this final step here, okay? Oh dear. Um, okay, let me get rid of uh, this again. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of this. Okay, and this is an important uh, thing is acknowledge. Okay? Tony has got to acknowledge. And that means to let Herbert know that the communication was received and understood. Now, when Tony says, 
Uh, oh yeah. You ate an apple, great. Well then Herbert will also say okay or great or nod their head. So to complete a cycle of action, in other words to complete um, a communication, there must be an acknowledgement. Whether it's a nod or something that you say. For example, there was a relative of mine, I'm not going to tell you who, there was a relative of mine who you could say things to them, say and say and say about whatever, but sometimes you get, they'd go all quiet and they'd never acknowledge you. And you're left wondering, do they not like me? Uh, do they not understand me? Am I a bad communicator? It makes you introverted because they didn't acknowledge and you think it's you, but it's not you. It's the fact that the person hasn't a clue about the proper ways to communicate. Or maybe they do and they don't care. So acknowledgement is very important. And also, when you are listening to somebody, in order to control that communication, so at least you have an opportunity to say something back, you must also acknowledge when they finished your sentence, let them know that you heard the communication and you understood it. And if you didn't, clarify it. Don't just go on and try and fake it. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I understand you. We hadn't a clue what they said. There's somebody that I knew years ago, and this person would always talk so fast, 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 fast. And I'd be just like, oh yeah, yeah, that's great, great, great completely fake it's just what I should have done is said Joe I, 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 I'm sorry but you're going to have to speak slower I don't understand I can't keep up with you and they would have been fine on that the most important thing is that this communication is complete so let's recap for every successful communication you have to keep these points in and each one of these can be practiced cause Distance, effect, with intention, attention, and duplication, with understanding. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is not something that is just, just by Vincent telling you, it all falls into place. I have uh, mentioned to you at the beginning about um, what you would do next, okay? So, I want to promote something to you. Um, I'm going to show you these two little things that I would recommend you do next because we're nearly at nine o'clock and uh, I want to wrap up. And, and by the way, when I show you this, I'm going to do a little poll for about a minute or two and then I'll open the floor for any questions anybody has. We'll do a little questions and answers. If anybody wants to hang around for that afterwards, you can. I'll, I'll be here. And uh, then we'll take it from there. Then we'll end off, okay? So, if you want to improve your communication skills, these are things you can start working on yourself straight away. In order to help you, there is this communication booklet which shows you how to drill all the major basic parts of communication. So, first of all, visually, uh, let me just see what you can do. It's got like lots of pictures, okay? The factors of communication. And then it gets into these training drills or training exercises. And you can do these with a friend or a family member in the comfort of your own home or at a club or in school or in work or whatever. And it helps you to drill, first of all, for example, being there, which is the attention step. Looking at somebody, which is very important. If you're not looking at somebody, it's hard to get your communication across. But many people have problems looking at the person. It's a very basic problem, but it's important to handle. And a lot of people have this. Getting your communication across despite interference. How to communicate clearly, how to get a clear communication across the other side. How to acknowledge a person appropriately. How to encourage somebody to continue talking. And how to handle 
uh, upsets. And these are all things that you can do at home with a friend or family member. Now, what I am going to, so, so basically, um, yeah, I'll tell you about that one more in one second, right? My, uh, okay, so if you're not living, so some people live in Dublin, some people are outside of Dublin, some people are in Leicester and different parts of the planet, okay? I would strongly recommend doing this course. It's called the Success Through Communication course. It's a very basic course in communication, but it is absolutely fantastic. It is the very first course I ever did when I started the subject in 1992 in Munich in Germany. It's the very first course I did, and it helped me immensely. People say to me sometimes, Vincent, there's no way you were shy. I'm telling you, I was so shy. I was so nervous with communication. And sometimes when I get on stage, I get a bit of stage fright, and whatever, that kind of happens to me, but in general, I'm, I'm, I'm quite good now at communication. So let me just uh, roll over a couple of the exercises here. How to talk to somebody, getting your communication across, listening, acknowledging. Oh, there's a beautiful one. Getting somebody to continue talking, no answering, how to answer a question in such a way that the person's completely happy, but you didn't answer the question. So if somebody says to you, hey, Joe, how much do you have in your bank? Well, you don't want to answer the question, so you can answer it in such a way, oh, I have, well, I have enough. I have enough. Okay? Okay, ending off questioning, so how to end the conversation, how to begin a conversation, how to get a silent person to speak, how to get a person back on the subject, how to move away from a subject, how to get your questions answered, how to handle any communication upset. So there's absolutely loads in this course. Now, the advantage of this course is that it's done here in Dublin, in our centre. We have a huge place in Fur House, and the course is supervised, and you'll be given somebody to work with so that you can practice, 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 until you are fantastic at communication. And in my opinion, it's better to do it that way than to do it at home on your own. Of course, this stuff does show you how to do it on, at home, and you can still do that, and it is very, very useful, but it's much, much better if you do it uh, under trained supervision. If you don't live in Dublin, don't worry. We can connect you up with the nearest place where you can actually do this course, but it is definitely the course I would recommend and it really helped me, and it will really help you. Okay, now folks, we're gonna wrap up very shortly. Before we end, I want to just do a short poll. So uh, this is gonna come up on your screen right now. It's just a couple of little questions. If you don't mind, uh, have a little fill out of those questions, and um, then we will kind of wrap up. I'll be available for any questions that you have, and then we'll conclude. So just take a moment, if you don't mind, to answer those particular questions for me. It's just a couple of questions. And also, I just like to get feedback. Like it helps me to get feedback from you on how the actual webinar went and kind of what you're interested in, what you're not interested in, <clears throat> and so forth. So we'll just leave that open for another minute or two and uh, then we will conclude and then I'll give you my last few words of wisdom and then if you want to hang on for questions and answers then then we can do that absolutely no problem so if you if you don't mind it's, it's good feedback for me as well uh, if you don't mind popping your answers into the old uh, uh, that would be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and then we will conclude. Okay, it looks like we're done. Okay, so we're done on the poll. Right, folks, so if you're interested in getting the booklet, that is basically five euro free postage. I know, it's very expensive, it's five euro. And there's a free online course 
that you can do to help you get through the booklet. So there's going to be a link going up for that booklet for anybody who might be interested in this. Strongly recommend this. And if you're the type of person who will, who's interested in the communication course, well then Sylvia will reach out to you directly. Okay, so definitely would strongly recommend it. Like, look folks, if all this did for you was give you more confidence so that you can improve relationships with people in the future and express yourself more clearly, it would definitely be worth it, right? Or if all it did was help you to kind of move away from bad communication styles from the past, it would still be worth it. So strongly recommend, get yourself a copy of the booklet tonight. That uh, is available there through the link and you will absolutely love what's in it. And then a uh, communication course will be the next thing. Okay, folks. So uh, in final conclusion, I'm going to go over two key things that I mentioned tonight. Number one is you have a right to communicate or not. All right? You have a, a right to give or receive communication. It is your choice. But you will find that communication is important to build relationships and to have success. So it's important to handle it and to achieve what you want to achieve. And then the last thing I went over was this question of to communicate or not to communicate. Should I communicate or should I not communicate? Well, the answer is you should communicate. You know, how you do that is up to you. But communicate. The world's not going to fall apart if you do. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to end off the webinar uh, officially, so I'm going to say thank you to everybody, but then I'm going to hang on for if anybody has any questions, uh, you can pop them into the chat. So, uh, first of all, I'm just going to say thank you and good night uh, to everybody on YouTube who has tuned in on Facebook and on Instagram. Thank you so much for being there and for listening to me. And for everybody on Zoom, I want to say thank you so much for being here right to the very end. Francis, Alexandra, Colvinder, Mary, Carol, and June, and Margaret. Folks, it's absolutely wonderful to have been here with you. And thank you so much for giving me your time and for allowing me the opportunity to tell you about this stuff. And um, I hope to see you at some point in the future, maybe doing a course or following this up. And it will definitely make a big difference for your life. Okay, so if anybody wants to leave right now, that's completely fine. Uh, if anybody wants to hang on, if anybody has any questions, I'll leave them open here now. So right now, it's question and answer period. If you have questions, pop them in. Okay, and June, no problem. Uh, glad you liked it, Carl. Mary. Shani. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? I'm waiting for the inflow. I've done all this. You're welcome, Margaret. You are so welcome, and thank you so much for being here. Pleasure to have you. <laughs> Any other questions? Who have we got there on Zoom? Any, and if anybody has, is still on like Facebook or YouTube, you can also pop in some comments there. Anybody have any questions and so forth? Uh, and by the way, while you're doing that, um, uh, to give you a little bit of a story about myself, as I mentioned, I was a very, very shy person. I did this communication course. I think it took me about two weeks or something, uh, but it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, really, really helped me. And um, I, after the communication course, I got into, very shortly afterwards, the relationship with the woman that I married and that we're still together after very many years. And... Um, yeah, it's been, it's been good in work. It's, I enjoy work and I enjoy doing what I do as well. So it makes a big difference, you know? Um, so anyway, we'll leave it at that. There's no other questions come in. For anybody who's left, thank you, Colvinder, Mary and Carl. Have an absolutely beautiful rest of your evening. Take care of yourselves. Good night and I hope to see you at the next webinar. Bye. <laughs>